Good. So, did you happen to celebrate uh, Ganesh festival in Australia? Yes. Yes. Were you invited I... anywhere? Or did yes. you do it on your... Okay. Two All places. right. Two places. Yesterday? Yesterday, I went to two places. Very nice. All right. <coughs> what did you do there? At one place, like... Uh, we just did the darshan of Gwenpati Bappa and then we just played. Okay. All right. Same and tomorrow? Same. Where are you going tomorrow? Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Um, somewhere else at, at my friend's house. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's talk about Ganesh Chaturthi and we are going to do some grammar along with it. Okay. So let's do some grammar and let's learn about Ganesh Chaturthi. Why do you think this Ganpati festival is celebrated? Why do you think? Why Sonar Ganesh? Why do you think that? Ganesha. Uh -huh. Because of birth of Ganesha. Okay. Why? Now, why do we? What do we expect out of it? Please read this, Sanvi, from beginning. When we pray for the kingdom of God on earth, we feel what? We feel the urge. Urge. We feel the hmm. urge to rise above, above the, ordinary. the ordinary. Please write down the word urge. Write down today's topic, Ganesh festival. Urge. And whenever I'm mentioning any grammar tip, please write down as a grammar tip, okay? Urge. What is urge? Urge. Wait, yeah. then or this desire. One. Did we? When yeah. and how? We did. What should be like the topic as? Ganesh, Ganesh festival. When did we do? I opened it today. This no, article not I had this one. Today. Uh -huh. The urge one. Oh, okay. We did All urge. Right. Okay, huh? I thought. Okay. So why do you attend this class on time? Because you have the urge to rise above the ordinary. Right? Why do we always try to excel in our exams? Because we have the urge, the desire to rise above. That means to go beyond the ordinary. Ordinary means you don't want to settle for something no. basic. Yeah, normal. You want to try something unique you want to be a little beyond what others are scoring right so you have an urge to rise above the ordinary an urge an urge is nothing but a strong wish or a desire okay there could be urge of i i, I got the urge of mm, drinking water that could be also there okay it's not the urge you can use it in your daily life also urge means a strong desire sometimes you know you you are dehydrated and you feel like Eat, drinking water, which, which is a very common thing. But still, we can use that urge. Urge is also like pleading. He urged me to give some shelter, to give him some hot food. Okay? Like, he, he pleaded, kind of. Hmm? Urge is like a request. There. Okay. So, do you want to rise above the others? Yeah. More than others, do you want to rise beyond who you are today? Do you want to be a better version of yourself tomorrow? Yeah? With every passing day, you want to become better. Right? That's important. So you have this urge to rise above your today's version. Right? Today, you might be at level 1, level 2, level 3, whatever, of English, cricket, chess, swimming, English, maths, history, whatever you're learning. I think everyone wants to become better. Okay. If anybody says, oh, what's what's so important about Ganesha? Like you should have like three, four lines, okay? And you should also learn grammar, all right? So there are two, three things that we'll be doing. So let's, on one separate page, other than where you have written Ganesha, on a separate page next to it, just flip the page if you have, draw the verb forms, like draw the two lines which divides the verbs on your notebook. 
okay just with a scale or just roughly divided so three columns already. yeah we need three columns divide the page into three because we every verb that we are going to get we are going to write the three forms so please okay. tell me the verbs identify the verbs from this please read it loudly devashi first para identify verbs ganesha deepranand this sakasagun ha sakasagun form of god is hmm. approachable a guide you can lean on in times of need and a master who presides over ceremonies at times form too comes from the formless and has to merge with it yeah give me the verbs only the verbs okay sakar sagun even i am not sure okay sagun is like good habits or good mm -hmm. uh, yeah habits okay i am not sure sakar sagun okay sakar sagun how did they pronounce this is some hindi version or marathi version that they okay Deepa. give me the verbs from this give me the verbs action verbs give me the action lean, verbs lean uh -huh. in. directly reach there okay nothing on the first line in the first line presides represents presides is the second one represents Deepa. yes approachable then, no 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 approachable form no form is a noun here comes yes and last one merge perfect yes write down these five in the first column represent lean preside come and merge five represent don't write s don't write s don't write a plural form of it represent lean preside come and merge first once you are done let me know done hmm. do you know the meaning of every word represent do you understand what is representation yes yeah. it stands for right so you know the meaning right lean what is leaning yeah yeah he is leaning yeah, on one side on yeah Overseeing. yeah mm. your leaning means you actually bending on one side that means here it is relying okay right you lean on you lean on the wall which is next to you uh, devashi leans on the chair backwards right so lean so lean means here it is rely okay preside what is preside do you know uh, the word president yeah. yep yeah what is the work of the president or what do you understand by president who is the president of the committee means what he is the <coughs> first person right who is responsible for it or who has to take decisions or he is uh, he has to take the he, his name would be important in the media right so president is one important position right as a, is generally at the top of the hierarchy so preside mm -hmm. means he is pre means ahead of something all right so most of the pre words are before so preside is nothing but the verb form of precedent just to remember pre means pehle okay wo kaun se bhi ceremony se pehle aata hai okay and you would agree with me if you want to really have this for example when you move to australia you must have uh, got this home and you must have done some basic ganesh puja if not a very elaborate one right no oh you didn't do it okay most of the people do it right the inauguration of the offices and the houses and all so presides over ceremonies means is the first thing that is remembered ganesha okay is the first thing that is remembered if you want to buy a new car or a vehicle not the phones and laptops but generally the vehicles and all you must have seen people right they must be using some indian rituals in australia or in india you must have seen people when they get their car out of the uh, garage or showroom okay then they uh, help them to perform some rituals where ganesha is involved right ganpati appa morya they say so and they start 
राइट वही गो फॉर अ पिकनिक दे स्टार्ट लाइक दैट सो इट्स प्रिसाइज ओवर सेरेमनीज आगे मतलब पहले शुरुआत होती है comes from comes means it comes and goes wala comes merge what is merge like the two lanes are merging yeah no. two lanes are merging your chair your uh, coat and dresses color whatever you are wearing right now is merging with your chair cushion cover whatever you have behind chair you know ha huh. mm-hmm. so it's merging that means is something which is coming together forming one piece right yes yeah. no uh, one is a black and bluish i guess but mm. i can see it like a merged form very close okay write down the other two verbs represent represented represented v2 and v3 form in the two columns represented represented only ed ed that you have to add same, same goes for this leaned leaned presided presided but for come मीनिंग ऑल्सो फॉर योर रेफरेंस यू लुक वेरी लीन मीन्स वॉट no extra fat on the body oh, that's thin. lean so it's not uh, thin so preside presided dead, dead. Uh, yes d e d come came come merge merged merged so i hope all of you have got a plain okay, notebook with three columns the first one merged, will be merged, merged merged yes merged 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 put the numbers also 1 2 3 4 5 mm-hmm. okay your will be merged 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 v1 v2 v3 these are the forms of verbs because of the lack of this knowledge people are not able to make the right sentence at times okay now give me the adjective out of this Give me the adjective, Sanvi, Devashi. Both of you can try. Okay. Okay. At the moment, uh, let's ignore this. Present. Word. Adjective. Just now we told it's a verb. What is an adjective, by the way? That describes something. Yes, yeah, that describes something. And what is that something? Something means what? Noun. Okay. So when you have to find the adjectives, first you have to find out which noun is it, and what is it? Which word is? describe it approachable so you should ask who okay. is approachable okay or what is approachable okay. who is approachable yeah who is approachable first tell me it's an adjective to which noun approach approach Wait. is an adjective to which Wait. noun who is approachable who am i referring to who is approachable here here ganesha ganesha of course right then that theme is around ganesha it won't be anything mm. else anyone else right yes approachable anything else is one more formless formless so who is formless right now form comes ganesha. from the formless so formless form so you are also yes we are referring to ganesha only so the form of ganesha comes from the formless yes write down the adjective so on another page not on the same page where you have verb just write adjectives as the title yeah adjectives as the title okay approachable now what would you understand from this any word with able okay all the ables and less are all adjectives so write two two words each which has got able at the end able at the end think and two words which has got less at the end one each you have to think of one each can we have to think of one they were she have to think of one a word which has got able at the end this is approachable only able ha only able 
foldable yes yes absolutely right but what is foldable where would you use it foldable what do you have at home which is foldable fold something a uh, stool yeah. stool yes foldable chair desk table okay anything is which is umbrella okay very good so sanvi has given one able you can write that meaningless, meaningless. very good they were she give yours useless useless <laughs> oh you got the less one first okay and able which able karna sarkha ahe kaitri karna sarkha ahe he karna sarkha ahe this is doable do able do you have to write a uh, yes. foldable and doable yes yes of course Your memory is volatile; it will vanish. Tomorrow you'll learn something else. The whatever you've learned today will just vanish like camphor tablets. You know what are camphor tablets? Kapur, kapur, mm -hmm. kapur. You have camphor yeah. tablets at um, um, maybe at two places. One is in your cupboards, naphthalene balls. No, white color. I say gold, gold. होते हैं ना tablets cockroach के लिए है ना दैट इज वन सेकेंड इज इन गणपति आरती एंड इन गणपति राइट सेम सेम दैट इज दैम्फर देर परफेक्ट ओके उसको जलाते हैं वर्ड मीनिंगलेस सो दैट अनदर वर्ड सेंसलेस मीनिंगलेस यूजलेस ये कलरलेस शेपलेस ऑल दीज आर एब्जेक्टिव वेरी गुड डन this is what you learn about adjectives and verbs okay from one para we learn these things then let's go to prepositions which are the prepositions here what are prepositions first of all tell me which words simple the word itself has the answer preposition position position to uh, yeah so the words which tell us of... yes one object in relation to the other object okay so which are these words tell me uh huh uh -huh. lean lean no, not lean that is a verb in oh yes on in, in. At. at at and to No, uh, no, and is not, and is an adjective from. Hold on, let me tell you first. Don't just copy paste for the sake of it. Okay. For example, what do you say in Hindi? Bhagwan ka, right? Bhagwan ka. That ka is off. So write down off. On. On means what? It's a phrase. Lean on. Kisi ke to upper. Okay. On. Kept it on the table. in times of again there's off so i didn't highlight in has got a phrase in times of need okay at at means actually kaun se jagah par at times is a phrase here from from means kaha se se and has to merge to is used here as a company to this verb okay gerund ing form here too ठीक है डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड विच आर प्रपोजिशन दे टेल मी ओके देर इज वन मोर विथ ओके आई फोगॉट प्रिसाइड ओवर इफ देर समथिंग विच आई फोगॉटन प्लीज हाई लाइट दीज आर प्रपोजिशन आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड राइट ऑन योर नेक्स्ट पेज येस नेक्स्ट पेज लीव दोज पेजेस बिकॉज यू नो वन पेज वी आर गोइंग टू कीप एडिंग द एब्जेक्टिव ओके वर्ब्स एंड प्रपोजिशन because once you have the knowledge of this you will understand how to use it where to use it done no have you noted no. yep hmm. no i didn't please note quickly write the topic as prepositions and we are going to do the same activity for the next para but you have to do it independently so please ask me questions if you have not understood anything what are adjectives 
If you know the meaning, great. If you don't know the meaning, write down on your page adjectives means some things, the words which describe the noun. Done? Yes. Good. What are the nouns here? Ganesha, God, need, ceremonies, hmm? form. They are the nouns. Okay. So let's work on the three things here in the next para. You have to do it on your own. Ayo, this is a big para. I'll restrict it to only certain patch, okay? That's it. So find out verbs. First verbs. Don't write the same verbs. It represents. If you think it's the same one, please don't write it. On your own, write down the verbs in your list. Devashi had modak today. Feeling sleepy already? Yesterday I had modak. Uh -huh. Do this as an exercise. 